So thinking of it as a rock, not a roll, can help you stay balanced in the water, keep your stroke rate up at a level that it needs to be, and it can also make sure that you are able to breathe easier because you're not going to be dropping the arm out in front as you turn to breathe. Hi, Brenton from Effortless Swimming. Every year we work with thousands of different swimmers from people who are brand new all the way up to professional triathletes and elite swimmers. And this is what we found to work best when it comes to rotation. How far should you rotate? Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might benefit from it. One of the concepts I've found really helpful for a lot of swimmers is thinking of your rotation in freestyle as a rock and not a roll. The difference there is with a rock, you're going to rotate side to side, but only to about 45 degrees, give or take 10 degrees either side. So if you think of the rotation through your shoulders and through your hips, rocking side to side, where you're still balanced as you get to your furthest point of rotation, is much easier than thinking of it as needing to roll all the way onto your side to 90 degrees. The reason we wanna keep it as a rock, there's a couple of things. The first one is to make sure that you're only rotating to 45 degrees, especially on your breathing stroke. Because if you go too far and you rotate to 90 degrees, often the lead arm that's out in front of you will be pushing down and will drop down. And that doesn't give you anything to have balance and stability with to help breathe. So we wanna make sure that we're only at 45 degrees as you turn to breathe there, because that can help you keep the lead hand out in front. The other thing that it will help with is your stroke rate. So if you're having to roll all the way onto your side to 90 degrees, it takes a long time to do that. And half of the aspect of your speed is its distance per stroke and your stroke rate. So the rate at which you take those strokes. And if you're rotating or rolling so far that you're all the way on your side, it takes almost twice as long to do that. So it's going to reduce your stroke rate to a point where the return on your strokes isn't what it needs to be. So we need to make sure that we are able to keep our stroke rate up at a fairly steady level. Often when someone's racing, the bare minimum they should be at is about 55 strokes per minute, but it's very hard to do if you're rolling. So thinking of it as a rock, not a roll, can help you stay balanced in the water, keep your stroke rate up at a level that it needs to be. And it can also make sure that you are able to breathe easier because you're not going to be dropping the arm out in front as you turn to breathe. So it helps with stability as well. And often some of these little cues or these small changes in things to think about can really make a difference. And that's what I've found with a lot of swimmers as it comes to how much do I need to rotate when I'm swimming freestyle. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and share it with someone who you think might benefit from the video. We'll be back on Friday with another Feedback Friday. We're going to analyze someone's stroke in detail. So we'll see you then.